Hey all, Double One Eight Sets Shadow here. This is coming up a little late. I was coming back from the BSF from Illinois just this weekend, and oh man, it was it was fun, but I was really tired and just crashed early. So sorry about that. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. We have a lot to cover, and we have a really big news announcement that I just put on Twitter as well, because this is. This is going to be important. We've got the June promos on TCG Player already for Card Fight Vanguard, and we have the high, most highly anticipated one right here in front of me right now. Examination Monster Imigrar is already a near $100 card for its base version and has no foils on the market right now and was originally listed around $45. And the market price is... 5312 for the regular promo right now. So, yeah, just so you know, between this promo and all the other June promos, you've got the ones for Tamayura and Chaos as well, and there's also the one for the Gigant Arms series as well, as well as a few others here and there. Eva herself, the Poison in Paradise version, even with this, we haven't seen that much of a spike as compared to when the <laughs> when it first got announced for us before. The card is currently an eight dollar base for the triple rare, and then the market price is currently ten twenty five. So that's not bad, actually. I anticipate this to stay around fifteen dollars given its popularity. Maybe we'll see that happen in the next week or so. But at the same time, when it comes to the BSF for North America, that series is now over. So it's really only overseas right now and then regular sh and then regular shop, tr shop tournaments. But the FFR is still out of stock and has a market price of $72.46. Taking a quick look though, yeah... For the first few listings, they're all under $10, but that $9 one's lightly played, though it has three copies. Still a pretty easy pick up there, so. Faded Vargra Dragus. I just wanted to note that the secret rare of this one seems to have been bought out to the point of $904. Yeah. Before I go into more detail on that one, just looking at some of the others... The triple rare is still just under $15 market price and base listing. The silver rare has been hovering just under $40 for quite some time. It's more it's more like 37, 38. And then the FFR is still over $100. Market price is 121 while the while the base price is a uh, is 107. Oh man. Okay, let's see here. What happened here, though? So, last listings were all on the 26th of May. They sold for 500 so this still sells for 500 pretty consistently for whatever we get up on the market. And, yeah, all listings that are available right now are 900 and 4 plus. So, yeah... You'll have to shop around for this one. That is a huge jump in price. I don't... If that sells, that's going to set a pretty high precedent. And that would be more expensive than most of the Lyrical Monasterio cards that have also gone up too, which is very unusual. Drag Raider Fallheart, which is the energy cycler for Dragon Empire. I wanted to note that the FFR was down to one listing at 135 which is way higher than its current market price. And then when it comes to the Silver Rare and the regular ones... Both of them are currently under their market prices. The Silver Rare is $26 to start, while the Triple Rare is currently $19 to start. Do keep in mind, for all these cards from Faded Clash, we are getting a re we are getting a second printing of the set come July? Or was it the end of June? I can't remember. In any case, we have that second printing confirmed, so we can anticipate more of this to come on the market by that time. And the same goes for Biscotti, who got the Silver Rare on buyout status. And there are only two copies of that left, starting at $90. The market price on that one is $47.49. And, yeah, just taking a quick look here. When it comes to the Triple Rare, we have a lot of copies available from 27 
And yeah, we have two cop we have two listings available on 50 cards from $90. The FFR is 114 onwards and that one has a market price of 103, so it's only slightly up there. This one, I know I got a shout out. I think that was the Penguin Dolphin. Thank you very much. I still hadn't covered this on stream yet, but Boobetsu also went up in value at $16 to for its triple rare with a market price of 5-ish. And then the SP is currently at $26.81 for its base price with a market price of $11.56, but both of them have less than 10 listings remaining. And I mean... I do see I do see why, given that we have the Harry Stride set coming later. But the only thing is that I don't think you'll be able to capitalize on the draw for this one, because I don't feel like Harry's gonna be that heavy of a soul charge deck. It'll just be swapping, swapping. So if you're using this, you'll probably just be using it for the extra attacks over and over. I don't think you'll be able to use much draw. You'll use the draw effect that much if you're playing Harry. But we don't know those skills yet. We'll have to wait and see. The trial decks that come with the energy chargers, I just want to do a quick comparison here. So individual decks right now sell for $20 to $25, depending on which one you pick up. But the energy generators themselves are currently $15, $16. So given that you have the... Given that you have the trigger promo and the chance to pick up Elementaria in here, honestly, it's starting to look better for you just to pick up the deck at this price, given that these energy generators are 75% of the worth. And the triggers, a lot of them are really val are pretty good and cover the rest of the value regardless. So honestly. Yeah, as long as the energy generators continue to maintain a price like this, we'll, we'll have to hope that we just get new ones for, what, shop tournament promos or something to start driving these down somewhere. Nocturicio interestingly, saw a decline in value recently. Despite the fact that it got a boom when Harry got announced, it's already cooled off. And now the price is back down to about $20, and we had some listings a little under that too. But it's not at the $30 range that we saw earlier. In any case, listings are now at $21 to about $25. So, I mean, it's not a huge decrease in value, but at the same time, any decrease is a decrease. So just note that it is on a downturn right now. Festival Collection 2023 has had so many good cards in it that it brings up a bunch of other cards that usually don't see play. But of course, with Wallista likely getting its restriction removed soon, Crossing Illumal Rays has been shooting up in value back to $15 at the base, and the market price is now $12.62. We've seen, we actually saw a sale over 20 and we have a lot of copies of Ray available from 15 to 17, so that's pretty insane. And even if you're not going to be playing Willista in full, this is used. This can just generally be used for the Willista ride line for a deck where you just play the ride line. Now I'm a fan of Claressa, and I picked this up the other day and noticed that its price was pretty high. But again. As I was talking about with Festival 2023, if you want cards from this set, a lot of them actually hold some value given the scarcity and the desirability of the set as a whole. So Earn's Correct Follower Nekla, which is a Claressa support card, is currently $5 with a market price of $3.29. And that holds true for all the listings that are currently available. So if you're looking for Claressa, while it's not too expensive, it is... It's not chump it's not chump change. Same with Seraphiel if you're playing Alestiel, where this one is 378 base with a market price of 462 and does sell for four plus. We have yeah, basically four to five dollars on this one. So yeah, when it comes to this set, unless we start getting some more reprints and we aren't getting any new sup I don't think we'll be getting any new support for the original Lyrical Boss units. So these might not see any reprints for quite some time. 
Mediel is getting its new its new dress up announcement tomorrow, I believe, or on Thursday. So just taking a look ahead, seeing where it's at right now. We only have one listing left on the triple rare starting at $10. The market price on this one is $621. The FFR is at $28-ish. The LSR is completely out of stock right now. That's We're going to stop there. We'll see what happens to it after the announcement. There have been some Dragon Empire buyouts and increases. And one of the big ones right now is actually a cute Dragon Arrow Foss, which is from set 5. This card is now 280 base and the market price has increased from under 40 cents to over a dollar almost a dollar 50 and it's been getting bought for a dollar to almost three dollars. Listings available. We've only got five listings and they're all at least 280 right now. So this card has been moving quite a lot. For early game rush potential, this thing is really powerful. There have also been some new announcements and mechanics for bind for a lot of other decks, particularly Dark States. But we could see some more spikes in some Dragon Empire support for Shododoji, like Stealthy, Stealthy Koman, which I just want to point out. This one is currently $0.08 cents base for its rare, $0.22 cents market price, and the FR is around a dollar for its market price, while the base listing is $0.85. Cents. I just pay attention to this one as it has similar playability capability to the to one of the cards that I'm covering again which I covered before this one right here Jakumetsu Arcs essentially both of these cards have the ability to send opponents bind cards back to the bottom of the deck which could interfere with some of the new mechanics that we've got coming but Arcs is currently and this is not Virena Arcs this is Jakumetsu Arcs they're both Arcs apparently 32 listings on this one of market price of 47 cents. They're being bought for 50 as uh, the 20th was the last sale. But we don't have as many copies on the market between the listings. There are a few. 37 cents for the low. Mostly 50 cents when you take a look at where it consolidates at. There's also Static Crack Dragon which has a market price of 51 cents and a base price of 5 cents. 17 listings overall. This one has been getting a lot of attention too due to the fact that it can be used pretty well with Shura from Vargra. And you can and it has overall playability with stuff like Vermilion or Shiranui as well. The FR is also out of stock, where the market price there is $1.97. Let's see what the last sale was on that. It was oh five dollars. Four and five dollars on those, so yeah, this one is moving. And our final card for today is Gratias Gratel, which has shot up in value from our last talk and now is solidly over twenty dollars on all of its copies. The cheapest one available is from the Favernil trial deck, which is twenty-four dollars, and then the Graham Grace one's twenty-seven. The double rare from Minerva Rising is currently around 29. All of their market prices are still underneath $20. So let me take a look at the Minerva Rising sales. $25, $27, and they were all in the last three days. This card is moving up. I know we've got Angel Ladder at this point, but I suppose with the anticipation of Shiranui getting a restriction. Uh, we might see some drop off on that and once we get to festival 2024 we'll start seeing more of a distribution on some of these regular pieces too thank you guys for watching if you liked the video please like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys later